Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I am going to be attempting a little bit of brow lamination at home. I have always wanted to try brow lamination. This is the first time I'm going to be trying it and I'm going to be doing it on myself, which may be a little bit of a schoolgirl error. I should have gone to a professional salon or a clinic to have this done, but obviously that is not an option at the moment. So I thought I would buy an at home kit. This is a lash lift kit that I bought on Amazon. I've seen quite a few people use Use this specific kit with great success. This is a lash lift kit but you can perform brow lamination with this. It's the same sort of stuff using the same chemicals. Now I am also going to be attempting a lash lift today. I'm not going to show that to you all because I really should not be doing it. Really shouldn't be doing it. This is a professional kit. I am a professional. I have done a lash lift on other people hundreds of times but I shouldn't be performing it on myself for two reasons. One, these chemicals are no joke. They really should be done by a professional and they should be done where you have two hands and two eyes that can see exactly what you're doing. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have two hands, but I'm only really gonna be able to see what I'm doing with one eye. Really, really stupid. I really don't know why I'm doing it. Maybe I'm talking myself out of it. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to anyway because I'm really bored. Another reason why I really shouldn't be doing this on myself is that you are supposed to remove your contact lenses whilst you're having this procedure because if any of the chemicals does get in your eyes for any freak moments, you don't want that chemical to get underneath your contact lens and cause even more damage. You don't want to have to take your contact lens out before you wash your eye out. You need to do that seriously quickly. So uh, I am half blind without my contact lenses. So um, not only am I doing this on myself with one eye, I am also going to be half blind doing it, which probably is the most stupid thing I've ever done in my entire life. And um, having second thoughts. Anyway, I will show you the brow lamination. I'm not going to show you the lash lift because I don't want anybody to think under any certain terms that um, it's a good idea to do your own lash lift. Seriously is not. Really not a great idea, but um, you know, we do stupid things when we're bored and at home. So I've got a completely clean face. You can do this with a face of makeup if you want to, but you do have to make sure that the area that you're going to be applying any of the perming solution to is completely clean. Okay, so let me just show you what you get within the pack. You get some cleaning tools, you get some lift pads for your eyelashes if you decided to do the lash lift, which I do not recommend and um, you get the perming solution, you get the fixing solution, you also get some balm for afterwards to make sure the hairs are thoroughly moisturized afterwards and rehydrated. You also get some cleanser to make sure that the area is completely cleansed before and after you've done this procedure. And you also get some glue because obviously you're going to have to stick the hairs in place before you apply the perming solution. And you've also got the lash lift tool, which looks like this, which is a really, really small little cotton bud or Q-tip to allow you to get the product on without spreading it all over your face. Okay, so just a little bit of information before I start. This is like any perm that you would do. So it's exactly the same as a perm that you would have done on your hair, and by the way, I am rather bitter about this because my mum would never allow me to have a perm when I was younger and all the cool kids in school were having perms that they had to use a whole can of hairspray first thing in the morning to set everything in place and they just looked so, so cool and I was never allowed to do it with my hair. I had straight boring hair that was flat to my head. Just have a minute. Neglected as a child I was, completely overlooked. Anyway. Let's move on. This is like any perm that you would have, including the perm on your head. So if you were to perm your hair, which I still haven't done to this day because it just hurts too much, 
You cannot get it wet for over 24 hours or it diminishes the hold of the curl. That is exactly the same thing that would happen with this. If you are gonna do a brow lamination, you cannot get the brows wet for a number of hours afterwards. Otherwise, the hold of the perm will just go down the toilet. So just to reiterate that, getting the area wet also includes things like creams and lotions and potions and serums and things like that. So if you are going to try brow lamination, I would definitely recommend that you abstain from applying the creams and lotions and also serums from your brow area for a good 24 hours after you've done this treatment. One extra piece of information is that I seriously recommend doing a patch test 24 hours before you even consider putting any of these products anywhere near your face because if you are gonna have a reaction, it's best that it's somewhere else on your body rather than on your face. So just try a really small amount of the product somewhere else on your body. I tend to try it on my wrist area and then you'll know if you're going to get a reaction. If you haven't had a reaction within the 24 hours, you should be safe to use this. But any irritation or itchiness or redness that occurs whilst in the process of doing this treatment, I would seriously recommend that you take the treatment off straight away and abandon. It's just not worth it. Okay, so let's get cracking. Please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed and you have hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm also doing a lot of live videos at the moment over on Instagram. So if you want to see those, it's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. So I'm gonna cleanse my eyebrows using the cleanser that is provided in the pot. Put that on a cotton pad and just wipe that through my brows to make sure all of my serums and moisturizers and any oils have been removed. I am going to rub a spoolie through my brows to get them where I want them to be. And then you need to apply some glue to the area to stick those brows in place. So I'm actually going to apply little bits of glue onto the surface of the skin and then I'm gonna brush through with the spoolie. Now, you don't get a spoolie in this pack because this is primarily a lash lift pack and you wouldn't need one for a lash lift. But um, I'm just gonna use one that I already have that I don't use on a regular basis. So just... Make sure that the brows are glued in the position that I want. Okay, once they are all stuck in place exactly where you want them, now is the time to open the perm solution. Now, a word of warning. If you have ever had your hair permed, which we have discussed, I never have. I have, however, been in salons before when they've been doing perms. This is the most disgusting smelling solution you will ever smell in your life. This is like a stink bomb has just gone off. It's extremely eggy, it's vile. You're gonna have to put up with it for around about 10, 15 minutes. So just hold your nose if you can and uh, apply this. So I'm gonna take one of these little, very small cotton pads and I'm going to apply this to the eyebrows and coat all of the brow hairs exactly in the direction that I want them to go. This stuff really doesn't smell good. And I am in the tiniest room in the house. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the filming room tour. You know exactly how small this room is and all the doors and windows are shut so I don't get any noise from downstairs or outside. This is going to be the pongiest room in the house in a few minutes time. It's actually not that bad. Oh yeah, it is. It really is. Oh. Okay, so all of the hairs are completely covered with the perming solution. So now I need to take my cling film or saran wrap, I think some people call it. Is that, is that really what they call it? I don't know. And I'm gonna take, oh, I've 
done far too much stuff but uh, then I need to apply this to the eyebrows just make sure that's stuck down on them all and leave that I look absolutely ridiculous <laughs> I need to leave that now for 10 to 12 minutes so I'll be right back when the timer has dinged. Okay, so it's been the 12 minutes. I am going to remove these from the bottom so not to disturb any of the hairs. And then it says to take one of the Y brushes, which was in the cleaning tool little box. And it looks like this. It's got tiny little comb on one end and a flat bit on the other so I'm just going to rub through and remove any of the perming solution onto the remover tool and then I'm going to apply the fixing agent which is the number two solution and is blue in colour and I'm going to do that using a clean one of these tiny little applicator sticks. Just get another one out of the box. You get loads of these, by the way, in each box. Lots of these. Oh, hang on one minute. So you also get a little spoolie in here, which I didn't check. I thought they were all like this. I was wrong. So some of them are like that and some of them are the spoolies, which is great to know. And maybe I should have got everything out of the pack before I started. So I'm just going to take another one of these, a clean version. And I'm going to put the fixing agent all over the brow hairs and make sure they're exactly where I want them. So once that's done, I'm just gonna pop the lid back on the fixing solution and once again, take some cling film. Try not to get as much this time. And place that over the brows for a further 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so the 12 minutes is done. I'm just gonna lift this off from the bottom again, although I'm gonna take all this off now so it doesn't, I guess, matter if we disturb it. I'm going to remove all of the fixing agent using one of the clean Y brushes. Firstly, using the flat side to remove any large bits of the solution. And then I'm gonna use the comb side to really comb through and remove any of the glue or any extra fixing solution that I've not been able to get off. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to use the cleanser, which is step number four, dip a cotton bud Q-tip into the solution. Pop that on the brow hairs and then comb through again using the Y brush. There we go. Not hard at all. So once that step has been completed, I'm gonna take one of the spoolies, which I found during the last step, and I'm gonna dip it into the nutrition lotion. So this is a yellowy type of liquid. And then I'm just gonna rub that through the brow hairs. Now I know already that this process has worked because when I am rubbing the brows, they are wanting to spring back into this position. So that is always a good sign. They're not going to stick like this all the time. Obviously they do have some movement, their hairs. All you will have to do 
is rub through your brows with a spoolie and they should set back into this position. So that's it. That is the treatment completed. I think it looks really good. Obviously it looks a little silly at the moment because I don't have any brow product in there. Usually I would style my brows like this using a brow setter gel after I have filled in all the gaps with a brow pencil or a brow powder and obviously that hasn't been done at the moment so once my brows have been filled in using a brow pencil or a brow powder I think I think this is going to look quite good. So I really, really like this. I like the effect. Fingers crossed this is going to hold for a considerable amount of time before I have to do this procedure again. But at the moment, I am really impressed. I will update you in a future video how long this has actually lasted for. Obviously my brows are a lot more sparse than some people's brows. So it will look better on some people than others, but... Um, I'm really excited and I'm really pleased with the result. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.